Next news is out of Bangladesh again. A Bangladeshi actress is, has apologized after making remarks suggesting that she's an atheist. Uh, Safal Kabir, a Bangladeshi actress, told a radio station that she didn't believe in any sort of afterlife because she didn't believe in things she couldn't see. The footage of the interview went viral and she would face a torrent of criticism in conservative in a conservative Muslim country. She issued an apology insisting on Facebook that she is not an atheist and her comments were misinterpreted. So so guys, like this this actually her backlash got so big that somebody came into our closed uh, atheist republic group um, and told all of us that we needed to ban this actress because she's an atheist. Right. So, <laughs> so just to be clear, what Ali is saying, there, this, she got such a huge backlash for saying that she's in, she doesn't believe in God. Such an, uh, you know, on social media, that so many people were going around all groups and you know chat groups, private groups, telling people to ban to ban this person because she's an atheist. That they weren't even checking in which groups they were say they were accusing her of being an atheist. So. Even in atheist republics group, there is people coming like, "Hey, ban this person! She's an atheist." That's how that's how viral the backlash is going against her. People are like, yeah, "This is a group of nothing but atheists. atheists," and people are like, "Did you do you know where you are?" <laughs> what? For her, by the way, I don't blame her for like a lot of people. Like she is apologizing, right? And nobody should be forced to apologize for being an atheist. And this is so sad. But I'm hoping when I scroll down and check the comments, nobody is blaming her for apologizing. Like I'm hoping nobody thinks that she should have stood her ground because she's living in a fucked up place where right. she is forced to make this apology. Like I can simp like I would sympathize with her. I'm hoping nobody is actually blaming her that she has to make this apology. And I'm actually, you know, so sad. Like, she's probably an atheist that has to, do, like, it's so sad that she's, even when somebody, this, you know, she's famous, she's an actress, and she's being open minded, she could have been as, as a, used as a role model for other atheists that feel lonely, or especially Bangladesh, where so many atheists have been so wronged. In Bangladesh, this would have been such a, you know, such an inspiration if somebody could openly say this. You know, imagine like when when a lot of uh, gay people saw, you know, celebrities openly announcing that they're gay. For a lot of them, it really helped the normalization of it. So this this could have been something similar. It's such a shame that she's that the backlash has been so strong that she has to come and publicly apologize, apologize for saying she's an atheist. And look. This is on the Friendly Atheist by Hamed Mehta, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how many other news... Is this getting much news coverage in other non-atheist platforms? Um, you know, on, on non-atheist platforms, I want to say that it has simply because there's been such a huge backlash against her for it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like these people had to have... Maybe, it, maybe it's just the viral video of her that's going around that's um, making this so popular. Like I need, this should get more more coverage because like imagine if somebody if the news was somebody somewhere in the world anywhere in the world came on TV and apologized for being a Christian or being a Muslim or being a Jew, apologize. Like I know I I know my our audience is used to me saying this, but I'm I have to say it every time because not that many other people say it. Um, I just want to say, like, if this if this was any other kind of apology like this, the whole world would be talking about it. Like, imagine how if somebody somewhere was forced to apologize for being a Christian, that you know the Christian community would be up in arms about it. And good, rightfully so, Wait. rightfully so. If somebody who somewhere was was forced to apologize for being a Muslim, the Islamic community would be up in arms about it, and rightfully so. Uh, but but we as an atheist community we don't have that voice yet. This is again this is why we're trying to atheist republic. We're, this is why we're trying to change. We're trying to provide that voice right of atheists. We're trying to amplify the voice of the atheist community. Again, link in our YouTube description. Uh, join the atheist republic because we're trying uh, atheist republic movement because we're trying to fill in that gap. Uh, the the outcry that will be 
would be there for the Christian community, for the Muslim community, for the Hindu community, for the Jewish community. We don't have the same backlash when somebody does this to atheists. And there needs to be a backlash. There needs to be a backlash. There needs to be, people should know that if they mistreat atheists like this, there's going to be a political cost. There's going to be a media cost. There's going to be a PR nightmare. There's going to be a reaction to it. We need people to be worried about mistreating atheists. So join Atheist Republic. Uh, AtheistRepublic.com. Help us get there. Um, but let me see. Subhan is saying not just the page, though there are quite a few... Even in the group, okay. So even what has to do? Even even oh. in the group, people oh, yeah. are always. What does this have to do with, with atheism? atheism. Yeah. Yeah. So part of saying, I got a friend in Bangladesh whose doctor suggested that she got some disease for being an atheist, and her family buying into that. Wait, the doctor said that. Jesus fucking Christ. His whole uh, His Holiness is saying this is an example of why the atheist republic and others are important to stand up. Oh, thank you. To let those who can't. Um, that they are to let, know that they are not alone and supported. Well, unfortunately, we we're not yet in a you know other than talking about it, we're not yet in a position to provide the support that we do want to eventually be able to support. But we're 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 trying to get there. Hopefully, uh, Marshall is saying, "I am a Bangladeshi. I think she was forced to do so. She was getting life threats from uh, from strangers, etc. In this country, free thinkers are in underground. They don't show up often. Our country needs attention of international media and Human Rights Watch. Yes, we're trying, Marcia. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for giving us some, uh, you know, comments from Bangladesh itself. Uh, somebody else is saying it's better to lie than get killed. Yep. Luke is saying how dare she think for herself logically. Uh, I mean, they're being sarcastic. Hill is saying never apologize for speaking the truth. No, Hill. She has to. Uh, John is saying I don't blame her and it's uh, the smart choice. Don't live honest. Live smart. Yeah, I mean nobody. I mean to be clear though, if she, if somebody decides to say like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to apologize. I'm going to stand my ground. Okay. Um, don't tell them that they're being stupid. Okay. Because nobody, nobody should be, we shouldn't have the expectation for people to pay that high of a cost. But if somebody does decide to do that, they are, they have already, they have made a decision to pay a higher cost for the rights of others and they know if they know the risk and they took the risk knowingly don't don't tell them that they made the wrong decision they're give, they're making the sacrifice they have made the decision just thank them and see how you can help atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. I Atheist Republic, and I podcast in Arabic. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.